How's it going everyone? My name is Lunar. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Road to Global. We're going to be hopping onto this game on Dust2 and it's been quite some time since I've had a Dust2 game. We also got our main account back, but there are a couple things that I want to go over in this video and talk about when it comes to CSGO's matchmaking. And that is the fact of, I think, CSGO's matchmaking is probably the worst in any sort of matchmaking system in my opinion. Let me know what... Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below before I give my opinion out there. Also, while you're in the comment section, be sure to hit that like button. It definitely helps us out with sharing the video or anything like that. And so, said one's flanking cat. I can't shoot my gun, apparently. Jeez. I was struggling on this guy right here. I think I whiffed so many bullets that I shouldn't have. All right, well, pistol round went really well. I don't know what it, why I bought a Mac 10 when they said we were going to go long, but it is what it is. I should have bought a Glil. Um, essentially, it's still not an AK, but it still can do a lot of damage at far range. And he said that they're all there. Boom. I just cleaned it up after that. I didn't want to... Oh, um, did we grab the AKs already? We grabbed them both. Cool. That works. I heard that, like, last minute. All right, well, now that all of you have not only left a comment down below on your opinion on CSGO's matchmaking system, but now that you guys have also hit that like button, even shared the video maybe, we're hopping back into this game. And with that being said, when it comes to CSGO's matchmaking system, I have a huge reason and proponent for feeling that it is the worst matchmaking system compared to any other game. And the main reason why I say that, it looks like my teammates are just destroying everything. The main reason why I say that is solely because of the just how long it takes to rank up no matter what. Um, oh, I was wondering where that guy came from. I'm a little worried. I don't know where the other guy's at, but I just don't want him to get an AK, so I'm going to guard my teammate's AK here. But um, when I say that, I mean in the sense of if you have an account for a long time and your account has a lot of wins on it, then it really is hard to rank up. Now, it's not me complaining about the time it takes to rank up, but when it comes down to winning, having to win 16 games plus in a row, I mean, I've heard it, some people even having to win 20 games in a row just to even rank up one rank. It seems a little bit dr drastic. And the biggest thing as well, too, is, as an example, this account used to be global. This is my main account. It used to be global. I stopped playing matchmaking when I hit global, and from there... I just started playing like Face It and ESEA. At the time it was ESEA, that was when Face It wasn't that great. But now, it's gonna take me anywhere. I mean, this account's on a 14, 15 win streak and still no rank up. So, um, yet if I lose two ranks, then I'm gonna end up deranking and that's just the sad truth, unfortunately. Um, obviously, I mean, I haven't been paying too much attention to this game. My teammates have been killing it. Oh, I just had a random lag. Let's see. This guy's going to probably peek. There we go. Played it together. But as I've been saying, I wasn't paying too much attention to this game so far. And, um, I mean, there's no way that any of my teammates should probably be at this rank. I mean, granted, it could just be like a really good game or anything like that for them. But... I don't know. The other thing, too, is that you're going to run into a lot of people in matchmaking. I'm sure a lot of you have already had this issue to where they seem like they're a smurf, but it's their actual rank, and that's solely because they're stuck, because they might be able to get five or six wins in a row, but they can't get to 16 wins in a row to be able to actually rank up. So that's kind of the issue with it. Um, there's really no other matchmaking system that has any sort of he hidden ELO system like CSGO does. Oh, I whiffed that. Hit for 90. Rip. But there's no other matchmaking system really that has like a hidden ELO system other than now Valorant. But even then, it shows you where your standings are every time you win or lose a game. If you went up a bunch, if you went down a little bit sort of thing. So it still at least gives you some knowledge, whereas this is just completely out in the open and doesn't give you much. Now, some of you might be wondering why I switched to the dot crosshair. Four of my teammates have the dot cross here as well, too. So, so far, it's not too bad. And the biggest thing, too, when it comes to, like, ranking up and matchmaking and everything, 
you don't want to be stuck at a lower rank to where you're just dominating every game and constantly winning every game. It's it's no fun at that point, and then it makes people have to go to other matchmaking systems like Face It or ESEA. Um, I mean, I've been playing Face It, and I, I play Face It from time to time, but I have been playing more matchmaking because you guys have been enjoying these videos over all else. And so definitely want to make content that you guys are enjoying. So with that being said, it's kind of rough. But, oh, that guy is just waiting there as I throw a perfect flash cap. The other thing that is hard about matchmaking too is just the rank distribution when playing the game. Um, I mean, you can get anywhere from, you can have silver ones in your game whether you're global or not, and it's, that is insane to me in my opinion. I feel like that shouldn't be a thing and you should, the, the rank distribution should be a little bit more even and I feel like that would also help out with people having more elo to rank up as well, so. It's probably too late now. Alright, my teammate wants us to go B. I'm just gonna throw this mid smoke here. Oh, I lagged. No, the lag. The lag. Oh man, that was some intense lag. Actually, some of the worst lag I've had. I don't know where that came from either. There we go. Oh, two of my teammates lined up for that. That's so unlucky. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just go tons. Go B. Go B. Go B. All right, my teammate said there's one. Oh, he's window, underneath window. He's hit 31. That's unlucky. They were both B. My teammate said that there was one CT. That's so unlucky right there. My teammate bought an op here, so I decided to buy up an AK and some armor, although I have no nades, so that doesn't really help us out too much. I'm gonna hold the long push, but don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to like make this huge giant complaint um, about matchmaking or anything like that. It is what it is, and we'll definitely rank up and get through the ranks, but I wanna know what you guys think. That's the main reason for making this video, is to hear your guys' opinions, um, because I know it's not just a one person thing, it's, it's pretty common, so. I'm flanking. One dead. Okay, one cat. The other one be. So as I was going off on that tangent, uh, let me tell you and explain a little bit deeper as to where that main tangent came from and main reason for making this video. One, I want to hear your guys' opinion and see if it's something you guys have faced, but there is definitely a reason why people can very easily hit global when making a whole new account. And that's just due to them not having to struggle through like a whole bunch of ranks or anything like that. They can easily just use that account. I'm on A. I'm going cat, but I'm on A. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, the lag. That was almost really awkward. I was trying to, but I was lagging, so that's kind of awkward. All right, I said last guy's mid, so. Yeah, he's just chilling mid. My teammate should have this, so I'm not too worried. There we go. As I say that, he picks up the other kill. This lag is atrocious right now, and I don't know what's going on. It's not even my internet. I think it's the server that I'm playing on, unfortunately. But... The main place that this tangent came from, and like I was saying about hitting global, it's a lot easier when making a fresh account because there's not so many so many games already on the account, if that makes sense. You don't have to sift through a plethora of games, but this account was global, like I said at one point in time, and now it's just hard stuck. But the main reason for this tangent and where it came from was due to having a 14-15 win streak and then losing two games, and voila, I deranked to MG2. Um, so that's kind of frustrating on my end. Um, all right, well, we ended up losing the last few rounds, so we definitely have to make something happen here. There we go. And we were dying to ops <laughs> from those two guys that we just killed, as you all saw. So, therefore, can't beat them, join them, right? I didn't mean to jump there either, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and take B site and hopefully win out the rest of this game. And he's outside. Perfect. Well, that is a solid half. We definitely could have played a little bit better, but I was going off on my tangent. As you saw, we lost a quite a bit of rounds in the middle here, but it is what it is. 
Let's pick it up CT side and finish out this game strong and hopefully get back to MGE. We've had a very rough start to, to this half, so we're three rounds down, but we can definitely make a comeback here and make something happen. Just going to molly that. A teammate flashed wide as well, too. Doesn't look like anyone's there. I'm going to molly deep, or nade deep, and then smoke it. Now I'm just going to continue to hold just in case they try to run through it. They can be a cat, so they have full, nade, full mid control, they said. Still can come cat. Oh, I got him through the smoke. Perfect. I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and just push long now. There we go. Those are some good picks. They can still go cat, but I'm going to go ahead and just push around. Ninja and cat, they said, so I'm just chilling. I'm going to slowly push up. There's one CT. There we go, perfect, and the AK. Awesome, well, that's a good round. Gets us back in this half. All right, my teammates killed it last round. Um, I haven't done much this half, but let's see if they try to, yep, they flash long. I'm gonna molly the other side of that. They can go pit now here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push up site. He said they missed their smoke cat. Teammate mollied it. I think that was their smoke, so I think that just blocked off their smoke there. I still gotta be careful though. There you go, my teammate smoked that off. Glad we have the nades here. I don't think they are long. So this is a cat though, so. They might try to just push out of that smoke, so. Poor cat. He said B. My teammate's saying cat. He says. Oh, I tried to get at least one more right there, but I did not. I don't know why my teammate, my teammate actually rotated off. Oh my god. There we go. My teammates are playing together. One's. Oh, that spray. Goose and long. Goose is the last one. He's probably towards sight now. Perfect. My teammates cleaned the rest of that up, which is really good. I'm glad they did. I Unfortunately, they mollied me, and then I just got flashed right when I peeked. So kind of unlucky there, but well played by them for their, using their utility. We've been having a rough time this half just solely because holding long is a chore. It's either they rush it or they don't rush it, and then I'm just rotating and stuck rotating. So um, let's see if they try to... Oh, there's one ton. So I'm going to push here. Clear corners real fast. Check T spawn, clear corner. Definitely a B hit. There's nothing top mid. Ooh, I <laughs> scared my teammate. He said, "Oh, there we go. They're trying to push out. I'm behind them now. Last two towards sight. And let me see if I can just push here. There we go. Last guy car. He said. Oh, I whiffed that spray, but oh well." That works. That's a solid round there. Well, this is unfortunate. I just keep dying while trying to rotate. So, <laughs> kind of rough there. My teammate got picked by the op. There's one. There we go. Oh, they have another op. That's so unlucky. If only that guy didn't actually leg me. Got a couple smokes B and flashes B. I'm gonna rotate back. Yeah, he's opping top mid as well. One is cat. Let's see if this guy actually uh, pushes this here. Unlucky, eight HP. Not much I can do there. All right, well, that was a solid game. I did absolutely nothing on the CT side, though. As you can see, I ended up going 24 and 23, and I ended up losing a lot of my gunfights. Um, and on top of that, I just died a lot rotating, so that's kind of a... Well, let's see what ranks these guys are. They're actually pretty even. There's a bunch of MGEs, so and that was a five... St that was a five stack. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I definitely should have played a little bit better, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe if you want to keep up with the series. My name's Lunar, and I'll catch you all with another video next time.